Yo, what's going on guys, it's Jake here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about things that I hate about Facebook. And before I get in this video, a lot of you guys were saying when you're going to open a PO box and where will, what will the address be and all that. Now the answer to that question is, I don't think I'll be opening a PO box just yet, because my mum and my dad looked at the prices and it's not cheap. Put it this way, if you had a PO box for every year, it costs over £200, which is kind of crazy. But we're looking into it. And if you know any cheaper places, comment below. And then I'll look at your comments and then I can see. So if you see anyone comment that stuff, mum to thumbs up their comments. So it comes up at the top so it's easier for me to find. So the first thing that annoys me about Facebook, it's when people poke you. Now luckily I don't get many people poking me now because I think the time of poking is kind of finished. But ages ago you just get loads of pokes and it was just so annoying. It's like... Now the second thing is you'll all agree with me on this. Game invites. Piss off! I don't want to play Farmville or Meow Chat or... I mean, I don't know what else, what other games is there. Um, it's all good. But I like get just people inviting you to games so they can get more points on a game. Get a life! What do you think Xbox, PC and Blooming PlayStation and Wii... Wii? What do you think they're for though, consoles, you play on them? Don't go on Facebook games. One, they're complete shit. Two, they piss everyone off. You get statuses every single day of people saying, stop inviting me to Farmville, stop inviting me to Meow Chat and all this. The lighting's just changed crazy outside. Luckily, luckily I have these two lights new. Quick little announcement, soft boxes with four bulbs in each one. Pretty cool actually. Now the third thing I hate is some of the videos on Facebook. Now you lot are probably thinking, oh Lad Bible, Lad Bible, yeah that's sick. I'm not on about Lad Bible, and I'm on about the sick videos about animal cruelty and stuff like that. Uh, recently there's been a video about a man or a lady chucking puppies into a river. It really is just sick. And there was recently a lady hitting her child baby in the head and it was just like, why would you do that? It's like, <laughs> you're a bitch. And the fourth thing I hate is when you get absolute tracks. Can you not? Twats. So you always get them twats that post on your timeline like these weird pictures that you don't even care about. You put most of the time I don't even know who these twats are, so I just delete it from my timeline. It's just really annoying because they just like blank pictures, I don't know. Most of the time it's like Star Trek shit. It's like Star Trek? No, I don't watch Star Trek. Who watches Star Trek? A lot of people watch it actually, but I've never watched it, so... The fifth thing I hate is when you get a notification, you like click on it and then you get people tagging you in photos of you from like maybe the night before, which you really hate and you like hate the picture. And the other thing is when they tag you in pictures that are really old and you look like a complete twat. The only reason you're tagging me in this is because you know that I look like a twat. I know I can untag myself if I wanted to, but that's effort. I do that anyway, but still, if you tag me in it, then I have to untag myself. It's just like, please, don't. Dick. The sixth thing I hate is when people use it like Twitter and Instagram. Now, don't get me wrong, I've used Facebook longer than Instagram and Twitter. Because I used Facebook before, like, I just used it to interact with my friends that I like, had before YouTube. So, like, my friends around me that live close to me. And I use Twitter for, like, people that watch my videos and the same with Instagram. And I use Instagram for both, really. But, yeah, I do have a Facebook fan page which you want to follow me on, which will be in the description. So, make sure you follow me on that. I haven't actually got many followers on that. So, make sure you go like that page because I upload a few stuff on it. Yeah, and I'll follow me on Twitter. Quickly shout out to my Twitter there. Don't have to follow me or anything. Yeah, you do. Follow me. I'll kill you. But they use it, like, Instagram and Twitter when they put hashtags on Facebook. Now there's no rule book saying that you can't use hashtags, but don't use hashtags. Go on Instagram and Twitter. Now this one kind of connects to it when people upload loads of pictures to Facebook every day. What do you think Instagram's for? It's a picture social network site. Go to Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> cheeky. That was cheeky, wasn't it? Follow me on there. Or I'll kill you. Now this thing really, really, really annoys me. When people have their profile pictures, most of the time it's girls. Don't get me wrong, obviously there's some boys that do it, but most of the time it's girls. They upload their profile picture, but it's not them, it's someone else. And all the dumb people think it's them, but then they secretly write a caption saying, this is not me, this is what I want my hair to look like. 
I've uploaded it to Instagram or something or just uploaded it to your photos. Don't make it your profile picture. No one cares. This one kind of connects to it too when people upload a profile picture that looks like this. Why? A profile picture is meant to like show who you are. It's stupid. Your profile picture should show it, like a whole of your face so people know who you are. Like they might recognise you. They're not going to recognise you from that. It just really annoys me and I know a lot of girls do it. But if you do it, don't feel offended or stop. Plus it guys, just a short video that I wanted to do, so I've got three videos up this week, which is Claire's Delivery 1 on Sunday as well, so look out for that cheeky upload. The main reason why I did this video is because I need to do some shout outs as well, and I need to give a shout out to Phil, and I need to give a shout out to Joe. Make sure you go over to their channels and subscribe to them, because their content is like mine, and Joe's for example, he's, uh, he hasn't even got 1,000 subscribers, and I think in some ways that he's sometimes better than me at making videos. So make sure you go check him out, and yeah, he's good, so make sure you go check him out again. Don't forget to check out Phil as well, he's almost at 10,000 subscribers, so if you can help him get there, that'd be awesome, so do that. Now you guys are probably thinking, who made my YouTube banner? And this. Now, I really, really like the YouTube banner, so I kept the YouTube banner, then I, cha I changed my YouTube avatar to that, and then my sub count, like, didn't go up as fast, so I was like, that's weird. So I changed it back to what it is now, and they gone up, like, gone up again, like gradually, like a different rate. It's weird. And then I changed it back to the cartoon, and then it went slower again. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, thank you for him. Uh, his links will be in the description below. Name the doctor. He does graphics effects. Go over to his channel. Send him a message on YouTube and follow him on Twitter. And send him. A... Uh? Tweet him saying that Jake sent you, and maybe ask him if. I can't speak today. Maybe ask him for you to make a banner if you're on YouTube and you just want an upgrade on graphics effects because I used to make mine before and he's better than me. So, yeah. You guys are probably thinking, Whoa, Jake, you're wearing one of your and James's t-shirts. Yeah, I am, baby. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't already know, the website that we did have was set. We had a 16-day trial, but I think it actually lasted longer than that, to be honest. But anyway, the website's still up on that the old website which is not in the links of the YouTube videos anymore so you can't really go on it to be honest that one doesn't work so if you could proceed to check out it doesn't work so if you want to buy one of these t-shirts the link will be on the top line of the description right now in this video so if you want to buy one there's, any, there's three designs on there at the moment there was five on your website but on this one you can have five designs on the no there was seven designs you can only have five designs on this website but we only uploaded three because there was only two selling so yeah make sure you go on top line of the description click that and maybe buy one they're quite cheap actually at the moment. We dropped the prices down on postage, so look at Buy one, buy one. And if I'm not already following you and tweet me a picture of you wearing it, I will follow you. And if I go to any events and I see you in one of these, I will come up to you and give you a big hug. So that's it guys, I will see you on Sunday. Fuck being on some chill shit. We go zero to a hundred nigga real quick. They be on that rap to pay the bill shit And I don't feel that shit, not even a little bit, oh lord